What's up everyone? Been a lot, little while, but we got a rainy day here, so I got some time to make a couple videos for you. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions about this one, and I didn't realize I never had a video for it, so uh, I'm going to show you how to make a level pad on the Kamatsu IMC system here. This will apply for Topcon 3DMC, but walk through that process and I'll uh, just give you a quick rundown of that. Uh, I'm just, you can see, I'm just sitting in the parking lot here. Uh, no project or anything, but you can do this inside of a project or you can make up your own project or whatever you want to do. Uh, but I'll show you the process here for designing a flat pad and putting an elevation in. So, we're, you can see here we're connected to the machine and to our, I'm actually running off a network right now. I don't have a base set up, but uh, so you may see these numbers bounce around a little bit, but be yeah, alright. We're going to hit menu, go to file, and in here we have surfaces. We come in here, if we had a project, we would see the surface name and whether to show or not show, but we're just going to go down here to new. You can see we got flat plane, sloping plane, crown road surface, and triangulated surface from topo survey. I'll make a different video on each one of these, but this particular video is going to be about the flat plane surface. So once you select the surface type, you have to enter a name. If I'm doing a flat plane, I typically name it the elevation that I want it to be at. Just helps me keep track of it a little bit better or you can name it pad you can name it you can name it whatever the heck you want but like this pad I'm gonna put it a hundred okay so I typically do that but you can name it whatever makes sense to you so next it's gonna bring us to a screen it's gonna have northern eastern elevation you actually can not type those numbers in with this little one we'll take a shot using our blade wherever your carrots at and this one you if you have a point on your map you can select and pick a point off your points list um, or create a new one so on and so forth or grid interval most of the time people know an elevation they want to be at you know it's on a localized project or if you wanted to go you know if you had a point on a building pad you want to go match that you can go put your blade on that and shoot it with this down here most of the time my blades up in the air a little bit uh, here we'll just raise it up a little bit just to show you so I'm going to take a shot here. Okay, so you can see my blade's at 101.06. Um, I always change this. It defaults to 65. Some 50 foot grid interval you'll see on here it can be kind of handy. You can change it to whatever you want. But let's say I wanted my pad to be at 100. All I do is click 100. I just hit finish. Now you can see it says show in there. And it's going to ask, do you want to set it as the active surface? I say yes. So now you can see I've got a foot of cut to get to grade at my 100. So everywhere I go, I'm gonna have a flat pad of 100. You can see it created a line on here. If you had a design surface, it would show both surfaces unless you went in to surfaces and unclicked show, okay? You can see this is the grid interval that's created up here. So that can be kind of handy. That's every 50 feet. Um, I've had people use this to create slopes um, you, there is a sloping feature I'll show you, but this if you just want to bump it down a tenth or two tenths or whatever your fall you want every 50 feet, you can do that pretty easily in the dozer. Um, so, different ways to do it. Um, but you can see here that's so then I can offset this pad just like any other pad. So, a lot of guys like to use the elevation for you know finished floor elevation, top of concrete, and then do their offset. You can still do that. You can set it to subgrade, just make sure you know what you're setting and why you're setting it. But yeah, it's as simple as that, and it's just like having any other surface in here. If I had multiple surfaces, I'd just go through and select them to switch between. This is a 1.0 machine, so these menus may look a little different if you're running a 2.0 machine, but not th this process will be the same. The only thing is, let's say you do that surface and you want to edit it, it's really easy to just come in here, and highlight it, and we have our edit button here. So now I can rename it if I wanted to. Um, let's say I, it, it's really up to you. you. If you're doing multiple pads and you want to have all five pads in there, that's fine. Me personally, most of the time I've seen it done and when I do it is you finish one pad and then I just edit the last one, you know, to edit this one so I don't have five different services in there, but you can do whatever you want. So you could call it whatever you want. And then you can, Northern and Eastern really aren't super relevant in this process, but you could change the elevation to 101, finish, 
it updates and now you can see I'm pretty much on grade here so I switch it to what I was at so really really a handy feature for striking off pads or, or leveling out an area or cutting through different areas or overbuilding a building pad is where I got a lot of guys wanting to use it um, if their models not set up for it uh, so I'll go through the other surface creations but that's uh, that's the most requested one so hope that helps